world, I'm Logan Prime. Welcome to me doing a reaction and thing to my hero academia. Today is episode 13 of season 5. And yeah, um, honestly, I really feel like nothing's gonna happen in today's episode, but not necessarily in a bad way. Like, like I really feel like the kids are just going to unwind. I, I mean, it's, it's winter, it's kind of snowing, right? So I don't know, maybe they'll go shopping. Maybe they'll we'll go watch Netflix or something. I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, and, and and honestly, I'm really kind of hoping that that's kind of what happens in today's episode. Something kind of soft. Um, something small. Uh, before we start jumping into the next arc. Which, whatever that arc is. Because again, I have no idea what the second half of this season is going to be. Let alone, honestly... I don't even know if it even has a second half. Uh, normally, I'm very used to My Hair Academia having about 24 episodes per season. Um, so I don't know if today's the last episode of season 5 or is still going to continue. Mind you, this is me completely doing no research, so I'm just completely blind. <laughs> but very excited, so let's do the reaction. All right, here we go. Ah, so we're just getting a little, uh, previously on My Hero Academia. <laughs> oh my god, so... <laughs> Koski is gonna be a media nightmare. Good lord, he needs an agent. <laughs> oh. So it's almost Christmas. Yeah. The luck boy. <laughs> you mean Natsu? Oh my god. Baby girls. That's exactly what I just said. Freaking Koski's a nightmare. <laughs> God, he's so monotone, too. He's so bland. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's Red Riot! He sounds just like All Might. Okay. I found out maybe it would be prudent to teach Bakugo to follow your lead and 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I think there's someone else you should be buying from right now. Wow. <laughs> this is his original power but like nothing's gonna happen a uh, uh, poof and wow that was only one percent So they're going to be on the field again. Holy cow. I have several questions. Where is Lumi? Yeah. Don't you have a chair somewhere? But it's so much more. We originally decided to pause the program after talking with the agencies. We wanted to reassess everything. But the Public Safety Commission is now requesting that all Hilo Corps students get in the field training again. Request? Are they ordering us to send these kids out? Yes. We're somehow short-handed when it comes to clothes? I thought it was oversaturation of it. Future heroes must learn to deal with the recent increase in bill disorganization. This is a reaction to what happened in Vegas. Oh. So they're scared. Oh, they know something that they don't want to say. Other program? It's been four months since you ate the kids into the dorms. No one seems suspicious. You're saying you don't think there's a spy for the League of Villains on some seasons? If the League acts in the future and we spot no connection, then I'd say it's a fair assumption to make. I agree. Every one of our Hero Corps students is a heart that beats for justice. Hmm. We've got that right. By the way, are you coming back today? We're pretty busy here, so we're not certain. Why did something happen with young Majoria? Wait, is it actually possible that you've forgotten what day it is? One, two, three. It's Christmas. <laughs> really, Kaski's the only one I didn't dress up. He's dead. <laughs> Wait, he's missing? She's got like every holiday. There's a music happening. Woo, <laughs> what is with that sword? <laughs> what did they could get a basketball? I'm assuming it didn't happen, huh? All right, we got after credits. If you don't have 
Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, one. I guess I forgot that Genus is missing or kidnapped. I I really don't remember what happened to him, or this is just something that happened in the background. I hate to do some research, and, and please don't give me any spoilers if you know. Uh, um, I really don't remember what happened. But anyway, aside from that, I, I'm glad that we got pretty much the, the, the scope of the direction of the rest of the season, which is the hero studies. Uh, yet again, our heroes are going to go hang out with actual, you know, A-class, B-class, established heroes, and, and learn from them. But it's something that I've been alluding to uh, since the, the beginning of this season is uh, what if, you know, the establishment, the, the UA, whatever, the, the, the League of Heroes, whatever, what if they're pushing these kids way too hard or way too fast into the streets to become, you know, something that they're not ready to be, you know? It's one thing to be able to experience this with your your colleagues and, and, and your teachers and your whatevers, but when you're out in the streets with with people with murderous intent, it's not the same, you know? So I'm kind of scared for these characters because I feel like things are gonna get really dark real quick. And especially with how somber the, nar the narration is with Deku, and the way he talks about like, oh, this Christmas is great. I hope we get the same Christmas next year. You know, like his voice says it like, like, yo, no. Next year, the Christmas is going to be very different. And I wonder if that's going to be true or not. Or if this is just me uh, looking into that scene way too much. Uh, pretty cool to actually have Kasuki, Todoroki, and Deku. Pretty much the big three of uh the squad in a way uh to be hanging out with endeavor uh, i mean out of all the heroes they could possibly learn from uh this is possibly the best one to learn from and then hopefully through this you know we, we get to learn what's going on with the league of villains and hawks as well uh who you know we've been talking about a spy but like he himself could be the spy that the He's a double agent. He could be a triple agent, uh, for all we know. You know, he could be working for the bad guys, the good guys, the whatevers himself. Who knows? You know, what what are his intentions? Has he been corrupted? Has he has it? Has he been uh, tainted? Who knows? We always see him do heroic things, but yet the way they always show him just looming and standing and always looking very extremely ominous. He just doesn't seem that trustworthy, you know? But yeah, I'm excited for the next episode to see the hero studies, to see more of Endeavor. And I'm also excited to see what the other classmates end up with if we actually get to see their perspective. Like, I wonder who Oshako goes to. Who does Momo go to? So, all right, that about does it for my video. As always, you're free to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, want to support me more, just check out the Patreon. And yeah, God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.